Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going over how to generate a PDF document based on Google Form responses and then sending this document via email. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step with any Zenfi flow is to set up your trigger. In this case, we're going to be using the Google Form response trigger. In Zenfi, a trigger is basically the action that's going to be in charge of initiating the whole workflow process. So in this case, every time a Google Form response is submitted, it's going to go through the entire flow. So if we click on the icon here, we'll be able to set up the connection so that we can choose which Google Form it's going to take into account for our flow. To do that, all you have to do is click on this little plus icon. It says create new connection and you can choose if it's private or shared. Once you've set up the connection, you'll also be able to find it in this drop down menu. Then click on this Google Drive icon to be able to choose which Google form you will be using. All you have to do is click on the form and then click select. Down at the bottom, you'll be able to look at the form controls from your Google form sheet. Now let's go over the Google form that we'll be using as well as a template that we'll be using as well. This is the Google form that I have created. It has a couple questions like their first name, last name, their job title, their compensation, and their start date. Now, if you wish to send the final document to the person who submitted the form, make sure you are changing the settings in your Google form to make sure it's automatically collecting the email of any person who responds the form. Now, we'll also need to create this template. This is basically the PDF that we're going to be sending, so make sure you edit it in whatever way you wish for the person to receive it. So change the font, the font size, if it's in bold. Make it look exactly how you want the other person to receive it, so you can add any images if needed. As seen here, we have certain words in between two curly brackets. What this is going to do is indicate the placeholders, meaning whatever is between those two brackets will be able to be replaced with information from the form. So in this case here, I put a place to be able to replace their first name and last name, the start date, and their job title. So wherever you wish to replace information, make sure to use those two curly brackets so that Zenfi knows exactly where it's going to be placing certain information. Now going back to our flow, the first action that I'm using is called generate document using template. As we can see from the title I gave it, this is going to be in charge of filling out the template that I just showed you on Google Docs. So all you have to do is again set up the connection to your Google Docs. Then all you have to do is select which file you're going to be using. So if you click on the Google Drive icon, you'll be able to see all your Google Docs. Just choose which one you wish to use and click select. Then you'll be able to choose which folder you're going to be saving in and the name of the document. So as you can see here, I have the name of the file as onboarding letter, first name, and last name. That way it's more personalized. How you can do that is by using the token picker. The token picker allows you to insert data from previous steps, in this case from the Google form. So if you open this up, you can use any of this information wherever you see this little icon. So in this case, if you wish to put their job title or the start name, all you have to do is click add token and it will be added. Now very important step, make sure you check this little box that says generate PDF to make sure that the final outcome of the document is in PDF format. Click on load placeholders and you'll be able to see all of the different placeholders available in the template that you selected. As you can see here, we have all the ones listed in the Google Doc. All you have to do is click on the token picker again and let it know which value it's going to be assigning to each one of the placeholders. So all you have to do is click on the token picker, in this case select first name, and you would do the same for the rest of the placeholders. Now, as a last step, we have the send email action. It's going to be using Gmail. So again, set up the connection using the little plus icon. And here you're going to be selecting who the email will be going to. In this case, since we did collect the email in the Google form, all you have to do is click on the token picker and select initiator email. This is going to make sure that the person who submitted the response gets the PDF document. And again, you can edit the subject and the body in whichever way you wish. You can add different tokens, you can add text in bold, change the font size, the font type. And lastly, all you have to do is click on the token picker and make sure you add the document in PDF, which will appear right here. 
So let's go ahead and do an example. And I'm going to go ahead and test run. So select a form to start. We're going to choose this one and click start. Here it's filling out the template. And it has sent the email. So let me go ahead and open up my email. And here we have the document. As we can see, it has the text that we had assigned in the subject and in the body. And if we open up this document, it's the PDF with the information submitted from the Google form. And that would be everything. As you can see, it is a very simple process. Remember, you can always add or remove steps if needed. You can make your flow as complex based on the needs for your specific flow. So feel free to play around with different actions by dragging and dropping them to your flow. And remember, you can always find more tutorials for different use cases on our YouTube channel. So check that out if you're interested in learning how to automate different processes. Thank you so much for watching.